بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته A Muslim believes that everything that happens in this world it is decreed by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala including infectious diseases and so you will never become infected by a disease no matter how contagious it is simply by becoming exposed to that virus but rather you will become infected only if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wills for that virus to transfer over to you and so this point is very very important for us to remember in a time like today when we are being taught about how to protect ourselves and our loved ones from the coronavirus remember that no disease no matter how contagious it is it can never infect you except by the permission of Allah alone so you could be living with someone who has the virus and yet you don't become infected on the other hand someone he could take all the precautions in the world to protect himself and avoid becoming infected and yet he becomes infected and we have examples of this we have those on the forefront medical doctors and other uh, health professionals who are taking care of the patients who have the disease and they are covered from from head to toe and they have taken all the precautionary measures to avoid being infected and yet so many of them are being infected by the disease and so the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam he said in a hadith he said la adwa he said there is no contagious disease when he said this he did not mean that disease cannot transfer he was not trying to uh, deny the reality of contagious diseases but rather what he was trying to clarify to us is that diseases they don't transfer on their own we shouldn't have superstitious beliefs about viruses and diseases what he meant is that a disease only transfers if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wills for it to transfer over to you but now this doesn't mean that Islam teaches us to simply put our trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that you know Allah will protect us without taking the necessary precautionary measures for protection and this brings us to the teachings of Islam what does Islam teach concerning concerning infection control controlling viruses and controlling and containing pandemics like the one that we are witnessing today and so you would be surprised to learn that 1400 years ago in the desert of Arabia Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam he taught his community about disease control and the importance of isolation and quarantine Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam he instituted strategies that are today implemented by public health authorities in every country in the world today and so he sallallahu alaihi wasallam commanded us that we should not travel to a place that has the plague spreading 
in that land. And he sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he told us that if we happen to be in that land where the plague is, we should not leave it. We should not try to escape because that will cause the disease to spread. And so from this, from this we learn that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam 1400 years ago taught us about quarantine and about self-isolation. Something that medical doctors and scientists are advising today based on, based on scientific fact. And so the measures being taken today in the 21st century to prevent the spread of infections and, vir and viruses they conform almost exactly to the infection control practice that was taught by our Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. What does it show us? It shows us that this deen, that Islam, is a true religion from Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala and that the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was indeed a true prophet and messenger sent by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because it is impossible for him to have known something like this and have taught it on his own. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to keep me and you and all the Muslims around the world safe and sound. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.